All right, I thought I'd do a little bit of an update. Sorry about that. I think it's gonna be a update 3.0 on those all pro aftermarket cylinder heads. Um, all the bowl cuts and blends are done on intake exhaust both heads. And I have started uh, cleaning up some of the casting flash or casting lines inside some of the ports and um, hitting them a little bit with some sanding rolls, a little bit of double cut burr work. Um, I'm still kind of undecided what kind of finish I want to go with. But uh, you can see, see if we get a little light in there, all the bowl cuts and blends are done. Both heads. And I will tell you the uh, percentages because these seats were cut fairly large maybe even just a hair larger than I normally do the, the percentages of the bowl so I just basically went with the as delivered seat cut and then just blended or opened the bowl below the seat to uh, make its transition smoothly um, I'm not done with these yet, but I just hit them with real quickly. You can look at those exhausts. You can see where I cut out that 135 thousandths. You can see where I cut out that 135 thousandths ridge and blended it into that back wall behind the valve guide. And then I've hit it with a little bit of sanding, just kind of wore out sanding rolls that's not the final finish port finish on it and I haven't cleaned up the uh, rough casting on that back side yet um, I think if I roll this head over I might be able to show you you can see where I've been cleaning up down inside these intake ports I wish I'd have shown a little bit better representation of just the casting lines that were running down each side of the port. So I've been working trying to, you know, get those smoothed out without adding a whole crap load of volume to that port. Um, I haven't really worked that guide very much, but I've just been using my double cut burr to uh, get that fairly rough casting line material removed out of these intake ports and uh, knock off just some of that rough finish because I will hit it with uh, I think I've got some 60 grit flapper wheel material that I'll just go over the ports after I get all the crap cut out of it and get it the fairly uniform uh, texture I'll just fly through it with some 60 grit on a flapper wheel just to give it its final uh, texture. But this, you know, there's not a whole lot of work. I say there's not a whole lot of work left, but there's time consuming work still left to finish doing these port textures because, you know, and it could be my OCD because when I tell someone Hey, I'm just going to clean up your bowl. I'm going to give it a, a, a proper bowl cut and blend. And then I'll clean up your casting flash and crap that's in there that shouldn't be. Well, my OCD doesn't allow me to only work certain parts of the port and then leave the rest of it as cast. Because it just looks like ass. I don't like it. So I end up costing myself because I end up going over the whole port Trying to make sure that the port has a consistent texture and a consistent look throughout. And, you know, that's my problem. I made that choice. But I wanted him to know, you know, these heads are, they're going to flow good. They're going to be in good shape. I'm going to put a straight edge on them because, like I would mentioned, I think in several of my previous videos, you cannot guarantee that even a brand new head out of the box is going to be flat. So I'm going to check and make sure that these things are within 
least factory tolerance being flat so that he doesn't have any gasket sealing problems um uh, as far as uh, getting them done, I mean, they'll be done way early this week, I'm sure. I just have to make time to come down here and just work on these port textures. All the, what I call the, the meat and potatoes, the big money porting is done. Now we're just looking for aesthetics and, and uh, making it, just making it look a little bit better. Because, you know, I've always said and I've always believed you make your most horsepower in your bowl cut, your bowl blend, your short turn, and your transition. Now, you know, maybe not everybody believes me or thinks that way. But as far as making horsepower, that's where it's at. That's where you get your power from. You know, the entrance to your intake runner... You know, you'd have to restrict it a huge amount to be a, a detriment to your overall performance. So if you have a, you know, legitimately decent sized runner and you do a lot of attention to detail on your bowl cut, your bowl blend, short turn radius and widening, and, uh, you know, maybe just reducing the profile of your uh, valve guide a little bit. That's where you're going to make your power, and that's where you're going to get your results. So, anyway, uh, all pro, 215 plus cc, LS cylinder heads 3.0. Um, just in case the customer was watching my videos, I wanted to make sure he knew uh, the meat and potatoes part of the porting is done. I just have to commit to the time consuming portion of just doing the surface texture on the rest of the port. So, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I have some more update videos scheduled, you know, on my schedule to do for you. And hopefully we'll get to them uh, as soon as possible. I appreciate it. You guys have a good one.